Uh, good afternoon all. Uh, from Monday itself, ma'am has been talking a lot about fuzzy logic. So I thought I'll take fuzzy logic, just an introduction to fuzzy logic. Okay, before we go to the topic, I want to ask one question. How many of you have learned driving? Raise your hands. Okay, uh, so you might have experienced the same thing as me. Uh, when I first started learning driving, I had the problem with gear. I didn't know when to actually put the gear, how to change, I mean not how to change, when to change from second to third, third to fourth and all. So this instructor will be sitting next to me who will come with us along the way. So I'll ask him, Anna, when to change the uh, gear? He'll say, when it is fast, you change to one gear up, and when it is slow, change one gear down. And I didn't know when it is fast and when it is slow. And when I went back home and I asked my dad, when it is fast, I mean, how shall I actually change the gears? So he said, when the speed is approximately 20, you change to second gear. When it is approximately 30, you change to third gear. When it is approximately 40, change to fourth and so on. So the word he used, please note, it is approximately 20. He didn't say when it is 19, it is first gear. When it is 20, it is second gear. Around approximately 20, it is second. Around approximately 30, it is third gear, above 40, fourth and all. Right? You know the point? You might have had the same experience. That's why I'm asking. Okay? So eventually, I looked at the speedometer and drive. As time goes, you learn without looking at the speedometer, you can drive. You get a feel of speed. Now I know when it is fast, when shall, without looking at the speedometer, I know when to change the gear from second to three, third to four. Because I get a feel of speed. I learned. And this learning is by approximation. Right? I didn't learn it like a rule. I learned it using approximation. We learn everything like this. This is called approximated learning. When we wash clothes, just after five dips it's clean. Is it like that? Some clothes, five dips is okay. Some clothes, one dip is okay. Some ten or fifteen when you are washing your little son's uniforms. More than ten will be needed. So you learn it when the clothes is clean. You learn it in an approximative way. Now, if I want to install an automatic gear system in my car, I want the system to change the gear its own, feeling the speed without my help. Like I learned, I want the system to learn to change the gear. That is, I want the system to do what? What? Students? Learn in what kind of learning? Approximate learning. So that is for a system to learn in an approximative way what we need is fuzzy logic to be implemented in that system. So whenever I say fuzzy logic you have to say what? Approximated learning. Approximated learning is equal to fuzzy logic. Just to implement approximated learning in a system so that it can work by its own, it can think by its own. You might have heard about artificial intelligence. We need fuzzy logic. Now, main thing that comes in fuzzy logic is fuzzy set. Max teachers are here. What is a set? What is a set? Sorry? Collection of objects with some common characteristics. Set of teachers are all the ladies in this college who wear sari. I mean, I say lady teachers, okay? Set of students are those who wear salwar. Set of apples, if I bring one apple, I'll ask you, more max teacher will say, this is an element of set apple. Right? Have you heard it? We have learned it in school. This is, imagine this is an apple. I'm very bad in drawing, so this is an element of set apple. Or more mathematically, you can say, this has a membership one to the set apple. You following me? 
this has a membership 1 to the set apple if i bring an orange what will you say this has a membership 0 to the set apple if it is a mango this has a membership 0 to the set apple now consider i take one bite of an apple like the apple logo i took one bite is that an apple is this an apple yes it's an apple I take another bite, now it has become somewhat like a skeleton after a five bite say. I bring this, ask you is it an apple? Is it an apple? Will you confidently say that it's an apple? I bring only the skeleton of apple. I didn't ask you whether it's a skeleton, is it an apple? Whether it has a membership one to the set apple I'm asking you. Does it have? Tell me. It's a left out. Right? So this, I'll, I can say this has membership 1 to the set apple and the skeleton, I didn't, I didn't say it's skeleton, this thing has a membership 0 to the set apple. What about the stages in between? Here comes the concept of fuzzy set. All the stages in between has a membership between 1 and 0. Traditionally, we have studied the concept of sets, traditional sets, those are called crisp sets, which are different from fuzzy sets. I'll write it here. You have only one or zero. Orange is not a set, not a member of set apple. Apple is a member of set apple. I am either a teacher or not a teacher. Right? I can't have this degree of membership, the value between one and zero. I am either a teacher or not a teacher. I am either a member of set apple or not a member of apple. That is the concept of crisp set. We have studied it in school. Now comes fuzzy set. You have, you are fully an apple, you are somewhat an apple, you are not an apple. The somewhat degree may vary. Concept of fuzzy set with which you can implement what? What? Approximate reasoning in machines. So that they can think and make decision like we do. They can learn like we do. So to learn how this approximate reasoning happening and all, you have many implications, rules and all. I'm not going to all this. Uh, should I tell more examples for fuzzy set or can you tell more examples for fuzzy set? Yeah. Examples. I say somebody is short. Short is a fuzzy set. Tall is a fuzzy set. Big fat is fuzzy set. Somebody is big. How big? I don't know. I will say I am thin. But somebody thinner than me comes, I am not thin anymore. Because he is thinner. Right? So I have a degree of membership to the set. Thin. So as to conclude, I hope you understood the concept of fuzzy set. You have any questions or more clarification needed? This is a basic concept of fuzzy set. If anybody is asking you what is fuzzy set, you should be able to tell. So it will be written in your washing machines and all, automatic washing machine. Fuzzy logic operated. Only after I studied this and went home, then the first time I am noticing, it is there in my washing machine. It's very old washing machine, but now only I am noticing it. So you can also tell somebody, you can think how approximate reasoning works in making decision for machines. And if you want to know more, you can refer the book by Timothy J. Rose on fuzzy logics. Very good book. If you want to know more about this. Okay? No questions? There's nothing to question.